2018 Thank You Canada Tour is making its way across our nation with some of the world's most talented figure skaters produced right here in our country. Joining me today are five-time Olympic medalists, three-time world champions, and eight-time national champions, wow, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. D does that ever get old for you guys, hearing those titles? <laughs> Sounds strange. I feel like you're talking about other people. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, I, like speaking of that, does life ever slow down for you too? I feel like you've done nothing but be on tour or go across the world since the Olympics. Yeah, I, know, I don't know if we're allowed to complain about that, but I don't think life has slowed down in quite a while. It was uh, when we were amateur athletes. It was a very calm time in our life, and now it's been it's been a lot of fun. I mean, this is a project that we're really, really excited about, and we're able to go across the country with our friends and castmates, so I don't think we're allowed to complain about any of these things. I love it. <laughs> all right, well, like you said, uh, you're with all these athletes. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, being with these athletes, and you guys are connecting with the country once again. Tell me a little bit about the Thank You Canada Tour. Well, the cast is, is truly unmatched, and most of us shared a really special experience in winning the team event together in Korea, but we've all grown up together, and to share the ice and collaborate on something, a, a new project, a, a new way of um, expressing ourselves on the ice has been really special. And uh, this tour, I think, is just different in general. I mean, we've had um, a hand in, in producing it, so the step in, into that role has been really fun for us. But um, yeah, it's just, it's been special. The, the group is so, connected and we're such a tight-knit little family and I think that comes across because we're just having so much fun together. And we're led by Elvis Stoiko who is just an unbelievable person but he was who we grew up watching and who we grew up idolizing and we still kind of hit each other and say is that Elvis Stoiko wearing a t-shirt with our name? <laughs> um, and you know it's just that is kind of a special touch for all of us because we don't all remember watching him at the Olympics and he's kind of you know led the way for us in figure skating so it's kind of cool to have him along as well mm -hmm. funny because you know you say you grew up watching him um but people are growing up they're watching you so what does it feel like to give back to people and inspire maybe the next generation of figure skaters well, that's, that's a huge compliment yeah it is, and that's really why we wanted to go into all corners of canada you know west to east and we're doing nearly 30 cities and, and that's really special i mean we grew up in a skating in a small town we know the benefits of those grassroots programs and whether it's skating or other sports or just instilling that belief that you can um pursue your passion that's that's really important to us and that's a responsibility as role models that we take very seriously okay and what has it been like producing the show like you mentioned with all your teammates how has that been different than you know produce well doing your own personal routine for world championships olympics everything well it is quite different and uh, we're, I guess we're perfectionists. We, we haven't, uh, it's, it was a stressful couple of weeks uh, just leading into rehearsals, let alone the months and months of work that go into making a show like this. But you're right, it's very different preparing what we would have as a four minute or three minute performance now all of a sudden being a two hour show. So, you know, it, it's, it's been a lot of work, but for Tess and I, we find that very fulfilling. It's very fun for us to jump in, be on a little bit on the creative side, help the choreographers, learn a lot about, you know, how a tour goes across the country. Um, but really for us, it's about connecting with the fans in the end. And we still look forward to that seven o'clock start when, you know, it's just us and the fans on the ice. And uh, well, the fans won't be on the ice, don't get any ideas. <laughs> Be on the ice connecting with the fans. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Well, you guys are making a stop right here in the Queen City. You've been here before to Regina. What can fans expect when they do come out here? Oh, I, I mean, I hope they just enjoy I hope it's a bit of an escape. It should be entertaining. That's the goal. And, you know, we'd like to have people tapping along to the, to yeah. the music, dancing in their seats, and, and just feeling like they're sharing a special moment with us. I mean, we've traveled the world, and we know that there are no better fans than Canadian fans, and, and we really want to celebrate. And we're trying to be cool and hip with the kids, so we have a little flash mob moment, and we've yet to have a full audience on their feet. So we're kind of hoping that Virginia is our city. Challenge Regina. All right, very quickly, can you each share one quick highlight of the tour so far? Um, oh my gosh. So the finale is sort of based around, I had this mantra for a few years, which was shine bright. And whenever we competed, um, that's what I said, that's what I repeated to myself, shine bright, shine bright. And it kind of 
helped me overcome all those doubts and um, you know put my mind at ease in those moments of pressure and um, taking that theme and trying to empower audiences across the country and, and share that with people has been really emotional but also just um, something that I never thought I would be able to do on, on such a large scale. I think for me the highlight has been getting to know the personality of personalities of the skaters a little bit more um, in the show. I think for the fan, it's a unique experience where you get to actually connect. Uh, you're going to see all the cast members in moments that you maybe don't expect, but you're also going to see some classic skating. So I think it's a great show. Uh, we're really proud of it, and we can't wait to bring it to Regina. Absolutely. Okay, well, we are all out of time right now, but one more time, the show is happening at the Brand Center October 19th. You can get your tickets now. Thanks so much for joining me today. See you soon. Thank you.